Hello, Brickhead Studios here, back for another video, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the LEGO Monkey Kid sets. These sets were revealed and released kind of today. It's a strange situation since the sets kind of leaked a couple of weeks earlier, but people's videos were taken down, but now they're officially revealed today. That's why I'm making my video now. And let's get into my thoughts on the pictures. The cheapest set in this wave is the White Dragon Horse Bike Set, retailing for $35. I have a couple of complaints about this set off the bat. It is another Lego set with a oversized bike. Although, I really like the build for the bike. I think it's pretty nice. It, it does remind me of the Spider-Man bike set. With Miles Morales and Carnage, that one. Yeah, it's kind of similar to that, but I like the color scheme, and it does look really sleek. I just have seen these sort of bikes a lot in sort of Lego themes, like Lego Ninjago and Superheroes, all of those sort of themes. The villain side build is... I, I don't really like it, in my opinion. I don't know, it doesn't really do anything for me. I don't think it adds to the set. I feel like if they took it out, then they could have made the set like $10 cheaper, honestly. I like the figures. You get two of the main heroes in the set, including Monkey Kid, which is pretty nice. You get two of the villains, which look pretty similar if they're not the same character, I'm not sure. But yeah, overall pretty nice. There's also the hoverboard thing, and that is also pretty nice. And that's about all I have to say for the small set in this wave. The next set we have here is the Iron Bull Tank, retailing for $50. And I don't really like this set. Uh, I think the other sets in this wave are much better. It's a big villain tank, and I don't really like the design it looks kind of messy in my opinion and the figures don't really stand out i kind of like the big fig but i think you're better off getting other sets i don't really have any more thoughts about this set i guess moving on to the next one here we have the monkey kids cloud jet set for sixty dollars this set is another set that's kind of eh to me. Like, I think the color scheme is nice. It kind of reminds me of a Ninjago set. The, the whole wave is a little bit reminiscent of those sort of sets, but that that's not a bad thing. Ninjago is a really good theme, and it's been going on for many years now. And it, it's a pretty nice build. I, I like how the... I think it has like a wheel on the front that you can also kind of like drive it around possibly on the ground. So that's a pretty nice play feature. Um, it does come with one or two villains. I guess the one with the jetpack is also a villain. And that figure's hairpiece actually looks pretty cool. I thought for a second the fire under that was some new fire pieces, but I guess not. <laughs> and it comes with Monkey Kid again. There's a random civilian and another villain. I think the villains in this wave, or most of the villains, are pretty much the same figure. But I've noticed that they all have like different names, or at least most of them. And that, that's pretty interesting. I, I guess it's kind of funny that they named all the villains rather than just giving them some generic name. That's kind of funny. Moving on to the next set. Here we have Pigsy's Food Truck for $70. And I really like this set. I think it's one of the better ones in the wave. It's one of the lesser expensive sets in the wave. And I really like the build. I, I always like Lego food truck builds because they tend to be really creative. And this one is also really creative. I like the big pig on the top with the chef's hat and the stud shooter is pretty nice as a play feature. Also, Pigsy the minifigure is just really cool. It's, 
I, I find it really funny that they molded a completely new piece for Pigsy's head, and that looks great. You also have Monkey Kid again, but it has a different outfit from the other sets. Also, I noticed that Monkey Kid in the set has dual molded legs, which is pretty interesting. I like that detail. The villains both have the same bike build, which looks alright. Also, the side of the food truck has a little cartoon design for Pigsy on both sides, and I like that little detail. Also, on the inside of the food truck, there's some pretty cool details, how it kind of turns into like a little HQ for Monkey Kid, and that's nice as like, I, I believe Pigsy is Monkey Kid's ally, I guess, one of his friends, and those are some cool details in there. And overall, this is one of my favorite sets in this entire wave. Here we have the Demon Bull King set for $90. And this set doesn't really interest me. It's a nice looking mech, but it's just another Lego mech build. And we've, ha we've had very many throughout waves of Lego sets. And I'm not too interested in it. The figures are alright. There's like Pigsy again and Monkey Kid. I think he's wearing similar clothes to other sets and... There's also the princess, and all those figures look really nice. I'm just not too interested in the build. And, yeah, basically, that's all I have to say for this set. Moving on. The next set here is Red Sun's Inferno Truck. And I'm really split on this set. On one hand, you have the nice-looking side builds. I really like the Pigsies little extension of his food cart i like that little build and also the little panda restaurant is really nice i i would like to have a build like that for a lego city like uh, the little panda restaurant it, it reminds me of maybe a panda express or something like that and i really like that build but then there's also the main build which is red sun's inferno truck and that's not why I would get this set. I would get it for the side builds. And that's really unfortunate. I I would like to get it for the main builds. And that's why I'm probably not going to pick up the set. Just because that's the main focus. I hope in future waves of the Monkey Kid line. If there are any. Like they have more smaller sets. And maybe they're less villain focused. Because... I kind of like the hero stuff a little bit better, like it looks better looking. Not specifically because hero villain stuff, but I think the colors and the ideas in the hero sort of things look a little bit better in my opinion. And that's about all I have to say for this set. Here we have the Monkey King's Warrior Mech set. This set will retail for $150. And I think the mech build looks really nice. Now, I really like the color scheme on it with the teal, gold, and red sort of colors. I think it goes together really nicely. Also, the set includes a Monkey King figure, which is different from the collectible minifigure series. That's really nice. Also, I've yet to mention this, but there's a new piece for like the staff and it looks like an extended lightsaber hilt piece so hopefully we see that more in the future maybe with a Darth Maul figure and yeah I, re I really like that sort of staff build also Monkey King is flying on a cloud and <laughs> that looks pretty nice it looks pretty fluffy I guess I don't know and on the side, we have the villain mech, and I don't know if I really like the villain mech. It's kind of what we've seen before. I don't really, I don't really like that sort of stuff. But the main thing that gets me interested in the set is again the side build. I really like the sort of market design 
with the side build and it looks really detailed and this is another thing where I wish that would have been a set on its own without the mech. Now the mech is really nice looking but I kind of prefer the side build. I would rather have that for like a small Lego City design but unfortunately you have to buy the whole set to get that. I don't know, I, I might have to bricklink some of these parts because, yeah, the side builds are really nice. It's just I wouldn't want to get the whole build for it. So I'm not too sure about that, but the set is overall pretty good. I, I like the mech. I like the colors in it. Would I buy it? I'm not sure. It is, it is $150, so I'm not sure. But overall, pretty nice set. And finally, we have Monkey Kids Team Secret Headquarters. This set will retail for $170. And I think this is one of the best sets in the wave. It is. It shows off all the detail and color you get from this wave. And I really like these sort of builds. I, I like to see more of this stuff in LEGO City unfortunately we haven't seen that sort of stuff but i like how in these licensed themes they've gone more detailed with stuff like for example lego hidden side sets those are really detailed and i like this detailed boat the boat seems to be pretty brick built no actual i guess large preformed boat pieces so that is a pretty nice feature and the boat opens up to form a headquarters, and that is a really nice feature. All the shipping containers kind of open up, and it's a little space for all the Monkey Kid team uh, members to kind of hang out, and I really like that detail. The figures in the set are also great. You get a couple of figures from the Monkey Kid team, and I, I really like that. You also get quite a few villains, and that's good for army building. And I, I just really like this set. I think it's one of the better ones in the wave. Could be actually the best. But like I said before, I would kind of like some cheaper sets in the future from this theme. But I think they have the right idea with some of their, I guess, uniqueness in the theme. And that's why I really enjoy these new sets, uh, sparing a couple of the, I guess, a little bit mediocre builds from the villain side. But overall, I really like this theme. I can't wait to see more. And that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.